I have six suggestions on channels that aren't causing stress on monkeys or abusing them. They have the types of videos we would like to see but don't see in the Savannah Troop and troops recorded in the surrounding area. I will link the channels in my description. I will be numbering the channels but they will go in no particular order, but just so it's easier to find the links. Number 1, Taobang Monkey. Believe it or not, these are also long-tailed macaques. They're in a different region so they look a little bit different and in some regions they call them crab-eating macaques. Taobang Monkey is a channel filming from Bali, Indonesia. Although these monkeys appear to be in a public park where they get fed. They're not too overweight or seem to be too stressed out or bothered by the humans around them. I love this video. It's an adult female playing with a coconut shell. It's so interesting and fun to watch. I will leave a link to this full video in the description. Check it out and tell me what you think. She's got talent. Number 2, Vervet Monkey Foundation. These are vervet monkeys. They're a bit of a different species of primate, but their babies are equally as cute. Vervet Monkey Foundation is located in South Africa. They take in orphaned babies, who often come from mothers that were poached or killed. They get and give them proper medical treatment when needed with the advice of a vet. Then, pair them with foster moms, so they can later release them back in the wild with all the skills they need. This channel is very educational and you can tell they're all hardworking people who really care about the welfare of these monkeys. They're always in the need for volunteer workers and donations. Donations that actually goes into the care of these monkeys and not just to scam you for fake medical care, that cost 2 US dollars in medicine and pocket the rest for their own personal gain. What the Vervet Monkey Foundation does is really amazing and heartwarming. I will drive away and this is where we collect uh, a lot of sweet potato and uh, butternut for the monkeys and this is basically really a, a weekly supply. So just to give you an idea uh, of how much food 600 monkeys uh, really eat, eat in a week. So uh, I'm just going to put this a little bit fast forward, otherwise uh, it will take a little bit long to get through. But uh, this is basically them collecting the butternuts and the sweet potatoes uh, in hood spray. Doing so well at the moment, it's really remarkable. So it's not going to be too much longer um, before the um, foster mums are able to come into this enclosure. Yeah, on the right. Percy on the left. I'm gonna go say hi. Fudgy is a little bit more shy. Go say hi, Mara. Good girl. Giving kisses to each other with Percy. Oh, sorry. So you could be Mara's foster mum, maybe? <laughs> she seems very interested in Mara. Number 3, Eras Morisco. These are rhesus macaques located on Monkey Hill in Hong Kong, China. Their scientific name is Macaca Malata, which I find fun to say. It reminds me of Hakuna Matata. With these macaques, if you were to compare them to pigtailed macaques, and long-tailed macaques. Rhesus macaques are a more aggressive or temperamental breed. But they are very similar in behavior. Eras Morisco is very informative. They name the monkeys and give backstories and is a family-friendly type of channel for the most part. 
There are both sad and happy videos but no abuse. They also use a text-to-speech like I do, which I think goes well with the aesthetic of their channel. Somehow find that the name Dippity fits him. Okay, let's call him Dippity. Number 4, JW. Admittedly, I don't know much about this channel other than it's the same location as Eros Morisco, with a very similar style, except for the text to speech. I don't know for sure, but maybe this is their second channel? Regardless, it's still an interesting channel to watch. <coughs> Number 5, Kyo. These are Japanese macaques, also known as snow monkeys. They live in a different environment than other macaques. They've adapted to live in the cold mountainous area within Japan. If you look at them, they do have similar traits as rhesus macaques. The winter adaptation and location makes them a subspecies of rhesus macaques, with the scientific name being Macaca fuscata. These fluffy monkeys love swimming in the hot springs in the winter to warm up. Kyo does amazing camera shots of these monkeys. They even record in some harsh winter weather, so we can see them in the hot springs. <laughs> 